Get down here, Merc. You're up. You're coming with us. Nice. I don't think so. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see them. Have fun. Move and we shoot! Go ahead. All right, it's over. <laughs> Nothing to it. Drop the weapon! You got this. Yeah, what he said. You're coming with us! Can't get surrounded. Nope. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> so what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh... Uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional. Unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Real joy to work with, though. Real joy to look at, too. Here we go. Let's tell what people know this first. Guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same... Give it a rest. Come on. Nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Uh? <laughs> Wedge. Uh... You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. So fast, we've got company. Think you can stop me? That's that. Here we go. See ya. That's that. All right. It's okay. See ya. Let's go. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <clears throat> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this. 
but I'll manage. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. I'm watching you. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. He's alone! We can take him! Make it rest! <laughs> Here we go. Enough. Shit. Then let's move. I got he always knows just what to say. Cut it out. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? And we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I... Sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Mako! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako <clears throat> is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again! <laughs> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Gonna throw your sword at him? 
Let the man with the gun go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. Now for the real show. <laughs> nothing to it. Look what we have here. A laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! Over with, and we're all look. They don't call those things sweepers for nothing, they can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. Ah! We can take this hunk of junk. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapon platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. What are you 20 something? First. Soldier first class doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I, uh... <clears throat> Though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. God damn. I can see a big face for my poor kids. Hurry it up! Oh, uh, it's pounding like a jackhammer. Scared, huh? <laughs> More like excited. I've been dreaming about this for years. Heads up, boys. I leave the rest in your capable hands. Good luck. You think if we fell in, we'd sink right down to the bottom? To the planet's core? No. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Fine. What about the timer? You'll call, Merc. Pretty cocky, ain't you? <gasps> you double crossing! Heads up! What in the hell? Thing. It's got reinforced armor plated, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. No other option, huh? Oh. The hell is that? A barrier? Never seen 
this defense system before. Sir. Thought you were the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? Bingo! Focus on that core! Oh, now he remembers! Don't keep me waiting in suspense next time! <laughs> Alright. Now, hit it hard and fast. Oh, you're in for it now! Just shoot! <laughs> Watch the tail! You don't want to be hit by that laser! Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit! Take cover behind that debris! Thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. We should be covering our way out. Go, go, go! You okay? <sighs> Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? <clears throat> My hero. Hey, we'll link up over there. Look after Jesse. Way. This route should lead us straight to Barrett. Probably. I think I see an exit. Come on! We're running out of time! Shut up and climb. You're not helping. Sorry, it just... it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way. Barrett! I've got you covered! Find us a way out of here! But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. <laughs> X, Soldier Boy. They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! The clock's ticking! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. Let's go. The other's away. Gotta get the hell out of here, ASAP.
couldn't. Believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, come on. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it. I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right then. Lead the way. You got it! Huh. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere! Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. What is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much farther do we have to go? Not far. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Fire in the hole! <laughs> you sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. All citizens, this is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of no. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor. And the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah. We always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. 
Your fears. Your worries. Your concerns. And yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh? Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! <laughs> we'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it. Once we're back at base. to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it, for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <clears throat> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. My friends got to the station. Cloud, up here, look up! I said look up! Careful up here. This could collapse at any moment. If you want up, you'll have to use those stairs. Station's intact. You're not real. You're... dead. I am. I killed you with my own... <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. 
It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown. Oh, so bright. The sound of her voice. Pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more. And I would be loath to live in such a world. Which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. right it's a gift you know for scaring those things away what things never mind think of it as a memento just my luck I heard that you know I'm good oh don't be like that I know you want one when was the last time you saw a real flower, huh? Plus, it'll make your girlfriend's day. I guarantee it. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <laughs> Help me!
Alright. Are you blind? You know, you're right. Wait! Nice meeting you. Sword on the ground! Right now! Here we go. Enough. Let's go. There he is! No holding back. This is Sector 8, Unit 4. We have eyes on the target. Not bad. Box him in! Box him in! There's nowhere to run! Alright, it's over. Enough! It's over. Troopers on standby! It's over. There must be immediate reinforcements at Tom Plaza! Target still mobile! Support! Proceed to rally point at the station! So much for the direct though. Find another way. Use the rooftops, maybe. End of the life, punk! I'm gonna enjoy this! Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. You think he's a keeper? To, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround? That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. 
because of the evacuation order? Lucky Texas us. Station, We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Hey, got a second coin? Who price is it? Little help, Cloud? Please? Don't be stupid. I can't stop yeah. thinking about it. The bomb I made too. shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. Good thing that was my first guess, but it. shouldn't the reactor have sure failsafes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. No, you mentioned happen. invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was Maybe clearly my own fault. Maybe some did it as payback? <sighs> Don't be Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna yeah. learn from this and Slums move on. Need power too, Thanks, Cloud. Man. You're a good listener. I'm sure Sector said. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Those fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. <sighs> It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know?
Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Not long now, honey. <laughs> hmm? Huh? Scepter 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? <laughs> You're such a kidder. Why did people blow it up? What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make it pretty smart again. <gasps> hmm. Marlene. <gasps> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> You made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. The Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh... think you're doing scaring my daughter like that daddy says never talk to strangers 
That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Not good. I don't know what it is, but my life feels so empty. So you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. One of my They'll spread whatever lies Shinra burning. tells them to. I so, reactors were safe. it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get There is it. one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions.
Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. So many people who just don't get that the planet is a living thing. That shit was brainwashed. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Please? Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Everyone's Barrett's out making his rounds, too. Don't take oh, your as long as I get it all today. Take your time now. Some creepy dude who hit him. All the items you could want are straight from the plate. No matter your needs. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Nothing tickle your fancy? If you change your mind, you know where I am. That goes for you too, Tifa. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you can want are straight from the place. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. 
For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Oh, can't help but take a little pleasure in her panic. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. This is nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? You working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword. But no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been Watch here a while now? Five years, give game. or take. How? Ain't they sure but handed? never mind Absolutely. that. We're We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons drink. drawer. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? <sighs> hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barra be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. We gotta do something about the monsters on screen. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example, aha. What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done.
All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Mercantown. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? Lead on. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare, just in case. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters appear right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. And there's our first challenge. Show me what you got, Cloud. Wow, so that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm up. What is this? Charging in like it was nothing? You too. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, that one's gonna be on the test. This a lesson? Gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up. All right, I think that might be the last of them. You won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right, let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. We're playing this month. Check them out. What? Everyone here's so back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you gotta do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <clears throat> oh. You okay? <sighs> I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village. <laughs> it's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to rustle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no, you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh, uh. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know, could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Got new numbers for Monster Slaying this month. Check them out. Yeah. Oh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself with these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. That went well. Could be you found your calling. Eh. Uh, was alright, I guess. 
Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's Come going on? on? Somebody like went that? and stole some blast and made it from a you? Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've gotta save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And... He's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. He can go to jail. He needs to get his act together. <laughs> what the hell, man? You're trying to break my arm? Dragging me through the street like this is... Let's get a closer look. Any way to treat a model citizen of Midgar? Model citizens don't steal blasting, Agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You got it all wrong. I've never gone anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. I swear, all he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that, is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Out <laughs> on you're doing here we go get ready that's that too late bring it uh. so is it over what now he's a talker huh whoa whoa no huh? you're not gonna Hold up! Wait! Don't, don't do it, man! You want to live? Then get the hell out of town. You, you got it, boss! You ain't never gonna see my face again! I swear! Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but... It's fine. And them? No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. <laughs> we need to go before they wake up. I... I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. So, what do you want to do now? 
Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another job or two? Okay then. That's another solid gig in the books. You know, the whole town is really impressed with what you've done. Keep it up, and you'll have enough work to keep you fed for a lifetime. Well, thanks to you. And don't you forget it. So where do we get paid? The shop or something? Yeah, but why don't we head back to the apartments first? Take a quick breather. Which lesson was that again? Lesson one. Got it? Anyway, let's go. Gotta admit, the watch is a lot more impressive than Huh? Someone's back awful early. Not that I mind. Would you two be dears and swap your filters out for me? I left them in your rooms. Sure thing. Not so fast, you. Do me a favor. She needs a friend. A real friend. Uh, we're already friends. So when she talks, are you really listening? Thinking about her and her feelings? <sighs> or are you just going through the motions? Go on. Let's take care of this real quick, okay? Sure. Come over when you're done. I'll be done in a bit. <sighs> Finally. <sighs> so, after you left the village, hmm? I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Uh. Uh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Thing is, by the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Oh. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. Still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it. That we'd never meet again. And then here, of all places, we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Something refined. Yeah, I guess we're not kids anymore. Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? <laughs> Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note, I think it's time we head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. Hey, Marl. 
We took care of the filters, so we're gonna head back to the bar now. Take care, you two. Oh, you're looking pretty chipper. Uh, I don't feel that different. Must be my imagination, then. <laughs> anyway, keep your wits about you, Merc. A token of my appreciation. Be good to her. And here we are. You must be tired. Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? <sighs> Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. So, what'll it be? Wanna head back out for a little while? Yeah, why not? We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night, then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Oh, I'm really sorry. But it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> Grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. <laughs> Most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Uh, enjoy. Huh? Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings. So if it comes down to do or die... If I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then... I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. Could still kill some time.
I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. <sighs> Guess that's that then. What, they kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. <sighs> Sorry, I tried. We talked it over, but... in the end... We didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. I'll catch you later. <laughs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Hit the spot. Damn, Biggs, slow down. <laughs> Keep it tight. Ain't no room for air come tomorrow. More reason to live it up now. Yep, best way to clear your head so you can focus when it counts. It's been too long since we did this. Not since we went on that all night bender after HQ gave us the boot. What's up with them? We'll find them soon. Man, seems like the boss always gives us the most shit tastic assignment. Hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Pretty set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch to you. 500. 200. Mm, three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Something to what? say? Uh, you looking at me? You'll be fine. Look at all these assholes staring at us. This shithole's got nothing on Wall Market. Am I right? Don't overdo it. Word of advice, Blondie. Don't so piss off my friend here, you'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. And don't worry. I ain't the backstabbing type, most days. Spill it! You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit. Alright. <laughs> it's over. Big man with a big gun for an arm, right? 
Why do you want it? Because this front follows an order, you know? Nobody tells me shit. Let me walk away. Please! Here we go. So if they weren't Shinra, then... Not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest. <laughs> Welcome home, honey! Took your sweet time! Uh... uh... Are you gonna let me in, so we can talk in private? Guess I'll get right to the point then. Huh. What have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh. Or not. What do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but... If I don't deal with this now, it's only going to get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Hmm. Oh. A down payment. Doubt we'll be back before morning, in case you were planning on traveling light. Make sure you've got everything you need before we leave. I'll wait here. You all set? Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. <laughs> it's just another job. Tough break. They changed the times. Last train's already left. Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Need a lift to the plate? How did you guess? Easy. You've been acting weird. Like talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. Yeah, and don't get me started on all that pep. All right, I'll give you that. But how did you know I wanted to head topside? Was I talking in my sleep? What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. Hmm. Are your parents still around? Huh? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay then, guess you're all invited. Here's to awkward family reunions. Yeah! yeah! I take it you boys have your brand spanking new IDs? Yes, ma'am. Then let's lay down some rubber. Crank that frog. Okay, you got it. You hear me? Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. That was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. I used a more powerful blasting agent than the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. Let's say you're right. So what? 
I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But, since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shinra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck. Not bad! And an abundance of affection for your mouth! 
fight. One cannot simply ride one fight. Then, one must unlock its true potential. Become one with the machine. Like this. Had enough? Don't be absurd. As if I could ever grow tired of your company. Naughty, naughty! Until one of our flames is forever extinguished, our fans will never rest! <laughs> Fight for me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, let's push it past the red line! Jesse, take over. Huh? <laughs> 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 Well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> Maybe next time we can keep it just between the two of us. Maybe. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friend! We did it! Go team! Don't get too excited. Reinforcements are hot on our trail! You passed the test! What test? Driving! Been driving for years. So you don't need a reward? No. Anyway, <laughs> you can thank me later. I'll wait. <sighs> Giving me the cold shoulder? Huh? Oh, would you look at that? It's the end of the ride. We'll go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Hey, did these things leave a mark? <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. Now let's roll. residential areas just beyond this gate. Mind doing the honors? <sighs> You've got an arm on you. Housing district, where they put you when your parents work for Shinra. While their reactors were slowly killing the planet, we were living the good life.
Come here. Ugh, no dice. Someone's playing hard to get. Figures. Still leaves the lights on every night. For the girl who only comes home once every other blue moon. Mom's an old-fashioned type like that. Think she'll make us pizza? Her Midgar special? She's quite the cook. Quick to whip up finger-licking food even if you drop by in the dead of night. And she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds. Okay, let's head in. Cloud, you know what to do. Why don't you wait around the corner over there? Ah, okay. It's a shame you won't get to try the Midgar special. You would have really liked it. With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Huh. Go in through the back door when the coast is clear. The signal will be obvious. Once the lights come on, it's go time. Time to go. Inside, you'll find a room with two doors. Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. That's where you'll find it. Sorry about dropping in like this again. We'll be chatting Mom up in the kitchen, so don't even bother being quiet. There's no way she'll ever hear you. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay. I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but... <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? Yeah, thank God. What's this? Dear Mom and Dad, Sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but... I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way. But I managed to land a starring role. And closed our two tickets to my play. Looking forward to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as... the princess? My dad. He was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. Eat as much as you like. Thanks. Dang, Mom. How'd you get even better at this?
And here we are. Mission accomplished. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand though, right? You can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector 8 Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by. But Wedge wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. Sure I can't tempt you with some more? Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. R. Wedge! Hey, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? Now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7-6 Annex. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's got to be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> you think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Uh, you know damn well <laughs> what she means. <sighs> While you're inside, we make sure the guards are focused on the outside, yeah? Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <sighs> well, that diversion's not gonna create itself. Jesse's dad was in there, right? Yeah. Mako poisoning. <sighs> Happened while Jesse was doing a show with the Gold Saucer. Ah, but what do you care? No, I want to hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. Worked her ass off for years. Until finally she caught a break. Top billing. Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night... Her dad had an accident. Collapsed from overwork, and in the worst possible place, Mako storage. Lay there half a day before someone found him. Been like that ever since. No change whatsoever. And that's what got her into planetology, and led her to seek out Avalanche. How far we've come. Jesse's got a theory about it. Thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now, between his body and the heart of the planet. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon... You'll get caught up in the flow and poof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel, unlike most of the time. I see. the essence of life itself, of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh, don't tell Jessie about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, whew, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. 
He's serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of us. Not my problem. This guy. Hey, it's the lot Jesse was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. Gotta stay hidden. Wait for... Just need to get past this gate. Wait. Where are the guards? <laughs> Looks like someone beat us here. And I don't think it was Jesse. This had better not get in the way of our plans. It won't. <laughs> don't see anyone. What the hell happened? Hey man, the plaza's that way. Warehouses are further in. Jesse's supposed to be circling around from the back, right? No need for us to rush. Let's scout it out first. I can handle this solo. What? You're trying to keep us out of it now? Don't be a jackass. We're in this together. Don't expect me to save you. If you need to check your gear, now's the time. Give the word when you're good to go. You can use that vending machine over there to stock up. I guess there's a training center, too. Could go a few rounds before the main event. Man, I get really hungry when I'm nervous. When you leave something at home or just need a bite to eat, vending machines can be real lifesavers. Whenever you're ready, Remind me, let us know. you've got summoning materia, don't you? There's no better way to deal with big groups. You'd be crazy not to equip it. Okay. Let's go over the plan one last time. <sighs> you start things off by cutting loose where everyone can see you. <laughs> and us? We're the backup. First, we climb high enough to get a vantage point, then we go to town on them. Heya. So, what did you want to talk about? When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. Should have figured. All the guys are leaving. But, but I'm not like them. I'm not going just to look for work. I'm going to be a soldier. The best of the best, like Sephiroth. The great war hero, huh? Hmm. Isn't it pretty hard to become a soldier? Yeah, so I won't be back for a long time. Guess not. Think you'll be in the papers? I'll try. Just promise me one thing. When we're older, and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just once. Uh... Come on, promise me. Fine. I promise. you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. <sighs> That's the signal! All according to plan. Let's go. 
Right. Yeah! I don't see any intruders. Maybe they went home. Oh, hey, over there! Target, target sight! Find him out! the pizza <laughs> <laughs> hell of a show man if only the ladies loved you that much I'm glad someone's enjoying themselves <sighs> of course they storm next here More than you know. Look what I found. Let's give these jerks a taste of their own medicine. No holding back. That's it. Stuck in my sight. Yes. All right. Now. Now that's what I call teamwork. <laughs> Stay where you are! Yeah. Well, shit. All right, assholes! Show me your hands! <laughs> well, aren't we having a wonderful time kicking the hornet's nest? Hmm. 
You know what I want. A second dance. Just the two of us. You turn the key. The engine roars with excitement. It hungers to be set free! Fall back. Uh, uh, right. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, it's been a long time since I fought a duel out of the saddle. But, for all the miles on the clock, I'm just as fast as I ever was. At last, our long awaited dance begins. Here's to a fair fight, my friends. Here we go. <laughs> I told you we were gonna push it past the red line! No way to die! A fiery ah! <clears throat> Yeah. Open up the throttle! Going in. Given to me. Brace yourself. Well done. <sighs> Satisfied? <laughs> With such fleeting pleasure? Hardly. There are higher heights, to which you and I can still soar. Okay, boys! Give them everything you've got! But kill the swordsman first! Do this again. Until then, try not to die. I'll see you on the road, my friend. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <sighs> 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 Run! Run while you can! Friendly! Friendly! Stand down! Your team shouldn't be here. Glad yours is. Come here.
Wedge will be fine, but you won't be if they start asking questions. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Our holier-than-thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the ass. Till now. So then why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Word is, they've cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. Think there's any truth to that? You tell me. Sometimes, I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. <sighs> okay. Mission complete. Let's make our way back to the lot. Right. Looking a lot more crowded now. Security's out in force. God, just what we need. So, are we not gonna wait for Wedge? If we stuck around or went back, he'd only get upset. Why is that? Because a soldier wouldn't understand. I'll tell him you're worried about it, huh? Many of our citizens have already been disturbed by the alarm. While they will set up here to serve the suspects, we will establish a perimeter. Roadblocks included. Contain you made it! Over off. here! Rumors of violence against public security will only okay. serve the threat. Let's go! We can serve the alarm. Could you have been any louder? I mean, it made my job a lot easier, but... Wait, where's Wedge? <sighs> Wedge! <sighs> that was close. We'll go get him. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Not my finest hour. You get hit. Just winged, I think. Or shot! Really? Let me see. Are we seriously doing this here? That's... Wow. You guys are the worst. Huh? Your ass is fine. Maybe singed, but the only casualty is your underwear. This is like a bruise or a mild burn at worst. <gasps> now that was a gunshot. <laughs> is that a smile I spy? <laughs> it's not safe here. We should go. <laughs> Copy, Copy that. that. So, how do we get back to the slums? <laughs> With a little trick I've been dying to try out. Hmm. Can't believe HQ was running an off tonight of all nights. All residents are to return to their homes that and remain indoors that. until further notice. They're ramping up for I something. repeat, for they your safety, go home. I heard someone say it was an attack. Hey! It was those terrorists, right? There has been no attack. For your safety, please go home. Right. This is it. Through here and we're home free. Where exactly are we going? When we get there, you'll know. Now that I've got my blasting agents, we should have everything we need for our next mission. Sure hope so. Yeah, me too. For your dad's sake. Hey, what the hell, man? Uh, Cloud was just saying how he hopes to come back and try the Midgard special next time. Really, huh? Cloud said that? Sure did. Wants a whole pie to himself. Isn't that right? That's... that's right. Really? Well, okay then. Maybe I'll lend Mama a hand next time, too. That'd be awesome! Super duper awesome! Should be somewhere around here. Bingo. Mm -hmm. 
I have figured my dad got it wrong, but nope. They're here just like he said. Parachutes? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean, half figured? 50 50 is pretty good odds if you ask me. <laughs> this is gonna be Wait, fun. Uh, uh, <sighs> Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you coming all this way with me. And like I said before, I'd be grateful if you kept this between us until after the mission. I don't want to complicate things. Sure. Okay, who's ready to fly? Me, me! Hey, Cloud, you let him down gently, all right? Yep. Wait, I almost forgot. One more thing. Whoa! Oh, Stop it! Oh, what in the hell are you trying to... Uh, 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 easy, you'll make us fall! Not if you do first! <sighs> Swing by my place after, so I can pay you in full. No. Why you have to be such a hard ass, bro? I ain't your bro. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done more. Just got hurt. You did enough. You took one for the team. Be proud. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Feels like we're flying high these days. <laughs> now, more than ever. He's a keeper, all right. Yeah! Together, we can take on the world! home on my own. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> it's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. <sighs> Cut that out. <laughs> this way. Think Jesse and Biggs made it back safe? I guess. Cool if we check on them? We'll pass by their places anyway. Sure. You saw it too. Well, this is Big's place. I guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things. Worrying about all the possible outcomes till his head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, I worry. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. Me to death thinking there might be more to come. This is where Jesse lives. Men are not allowed inside. Hmm. Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around or they might get the wrong idea. Huh. I'm telling you this for your own good, Cloud. People around here love to gossip. They know about Jessie and Avalanche? Nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't fall for it. You lost me. <laughs> Life's a stage and loves to play. Hey there, Bigums, Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend to meet you. <clears throat> These little guys are on guard duty today. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks for seeing me home. Really sorry about your ass. It's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me that. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softie. It's okay. It's okay. 
Good job, Owls. guys. Great work. Aw, oh, I missed you too. Oh. Well, if it isn't Cloud Strife, was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now for the cherry on top. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? <sighs> no promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I'd make a mean pizza, I'll have you know. Marsh, louche, black millie, red jelly? I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? You just leave everything to me. That'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night. Psych. To leave Midgar didn't go. Hmm? Oh, hey, Cloud. Survived the jump? How's Wedge? He's fine. <sighs> well, that's good to hear. Tomorrow's a really big day for all of us. When Wedge said he'd been shot, I was afraid we'd have to call off the whole damn thing. Heading topside in secret. Don't think I could have faced Barrett if something had happened. But Jesse'd been acting weird, and I knew I couldn't just ignore her. Biggs. She must be prepping the bomb right now. But will she be able to finish before morning? I should go and see if she needs any... Bakes. Huh? Uh, sorry. Our chute was blown pretty far off course. It felt like a bad omen or something. So... Get some rest. You need it. Roger. Night. Night. And thanks, really. Probably asleep. Yeah. You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry, he was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. A long time ago I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... <sighs> Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. If you want to talk, I'm listening. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? <laughs> like you're losing that hard edge. That bad? Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Yeah. Good night, then. Good night, Tifa.
What's wrong? Come with me! Quickly! We were getting ready to set out when those things showed up and came after us. The others? Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. Ready? You know it. Let's head to the bar. Okay. Get ready. Here we go. Shit. No idea. Pretty sure you can't even see them unless they make physical contact first. That's all you can tell me? I can tell you they're not invincible. More of them? We're running out of time. The other way? Yeah, over here. Again? Are they trying to stop us from reaching the others? Cloud, this way. Stay on your feet. You don't have to tell me that. Some kind of... I don't know. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Never can tell what weird shit'll come crawling out of the scrap down here. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. It hurt? Wish I could say it didn't, but... Yeah. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. I hate playing the damsel in distress. It happens. What did you do to your leg? Did, 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 does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any- I'm fine! Oh. Oh. <sighs> That's enough. You're out, Jesse. Huh? What about the mission? We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off! Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up, I'm your man! <coughs> okay. So here's the thing. I'm gonna need a raise. Consider it done. 
All right, everyone. Cloud's in. The mission is on. Go and raise some help for me, okay? <laughs> Listen, Wedge. I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health! Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. <sighs> hey. Let's get this show on the road to Marco Reactor 5. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for the meet. Got it? Hmm. <laughs> This'll help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you, soldier boy. to stagehand once again. I'm starting to think- There's always next time. What's this? Words of encouragement? <laughs> Thanks. I need them. All right. Let's get going. Sure. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. Alright, people. Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? Do you think Biggs is... on schedule? All we can do is hope. Today really gotta be the day, huh? Ain't no stopping this train we're on, son. A lot of people risk their lives to get it rolling. Already put the word out, more's coming too. Shut them all down by the day, or we shut another down for you. Ain't on us, not us. Play it cool. delays. We anticipate that our arrival in Sector 4 will be later than scheduled. The target's Marco Reactor 5. From the station, we take the back streets. Once we're inside the facility, it's the same deal as last time. Head for Marco storage. And then blow it all to hell. Let's do this one for Jesse and Wedge. They deserve it. Yeah. Sure. I didn't think word would spread this fast. There's barely anyone on this train. And none of them look happy to be here. Might stand out as a group. You two stay here. Hmm. If we're on heightened alert, that means more security officers. So we'll be safe, right? We'll be passing an ID checkpoint shortly. Here comes the first hurdle. 
Not much of one. I know, I know, but that doesn't mean I don't have butterflies in my stomach. mind keeping an eye on things the next car over? I'm worried there might be trouble. Why is that? Barrett's always on edge before missions, but you know he's a good guy underneath it all. The people on this train don't. He'll be fine. Maybe, but I won't be until I know for sure. <sighs> be right back. Thanks. Do you still support those terrorists? Avalanche is a blight on Midgar. Huh? Their bomb threat has thrown our offices into chaos, let alone the reactor itself. It's total insanity! But we won't lose heart. No! Everyone at Shinra agrees. The reactor will stay online. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, what? Y you got a problem with that? Do I have a problem with that? Oh, you can bet. He doesn't. <laughs> Asshole. You know you're better than that. Hey, this ain't no joy ride. I have nothing more to say to you and your friend. Go see how Tifa's doing. She needs you more than I do. Emergency ID scan in progress. Huh? No what way! Emergency ID scan in progress. Unauthorized IDs detected. Threat level critical. <coughs> Inspection and containment sweep initiated. Commencing at the rear of the train. Not clear! Get over here! Now! Take care of them, Cloud! On it. Lockdown protocol. You have to get to the next car. Keep moving, people! Shinra, I'm the enemy. I don't care. I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'll look after the others. My turn. <laughs> There's no end to them. Three unauthorized passengers successfully controlled neutralizing the threat. Looks like you're right, soldier boy. Screw this. <laughs> The station will be crawling with security. We gotta jump. Screw that! We need to slow the train down. <sighs> Sounds like a big plan E. <laughs> Oh, shit. 
All right. You ready? Ready. <laughs> Let's do this. These surats. Speaking of which, where's the third? In custody, sir. Return it to the wild. Yes, sir. Right away. It would have been a straight shot to the reactor. Didn't work out, but we knew going in we had to have alternatives. Backup plans, in case we had to get off early. From closer in to further out, B, C, D, and so on. Up to what? To E. Lucky us. Yeah! <laughs> You're damn right. Anyway. We were riding the train between Sector 4 and the main pillar when we had to bail out. And we ended up on the adjacent line, which should take us to Reactor 5. That's right. So for now, we follow the tracks. Not too far, though. Need to switch to a different route before we hit the station. Because you can bet your ass it's going to be crawling with security. All on high alert. Let's move. Our friends in Sector 5 marked the route, so don't worry about getting lost. It's a straight shot to victory, people! All we gotta do is take it! You have nothing to worry about, sir. Preparations for the grand finale are proceeding without incident. I have the utmost confidence that everything will play out as you intended. Yes, of course. I will not fail you, sir. <sighs> sir, analytics reports that the results fall within the admissible range. However, the casualty rate significantly exceeds previous projections. Ah. Remind me what your job is. Is it to question the wisdom of your superiors and bemoan your personal hardships? Sir? Huh. Casualty rate. You think I care about the casualty rate? They're pawns in a greater game. If your stock runs low, then go round up more for Sector 3 or wherever else. Use your head and bring me solutions instead of problems for a change, yes? Sir. so hard to find good help these days. Which is why the President ought to count his blessings. What would he do without me? Stamps nose. We look for graffiti then head in whichever direction. 
station at Snow's Point. But pay attention to railway signals, too. You see blue lights, you go on the way. Buzz off. It's on you. Need my help, do you? Follow the blue lights and we'll reach the reactor. Biggs is way ahead of us. Jesse was gonna back him up, so it wouldn't surprise me if he needs our help. So let's not keep him waiting. Right. Here we go. You're not no. going anywhere. Piled our report on Avalanche's combat capabilities and our <clears throat> report, report, report. What good do you think a damn report will do anyone? I don't. Have you already forgotten the war with Wu Tai? An enemy spared is an enemy who will repay your kindness with blood. We must crush them thoroughly and completely, without hesitation or mercy. Shinra cannot, and will not, settle for anything less! Will you? But... but, sir... If so, I can only assume that you and your men no longer wish to serve in your current positions. Is that correct? We'll prepare the prototype in Section E for immediate deployment. Right now, dammit! Another day, another victory. How do I do it? <laughs> Gotta love the irony of Shinra's smarmy lapdog leading the way to its master's destruction. You really don't like Stamp, do you, Baron? It's not that I hate it. I hate the fact that Shinra took a loyal animal like that and co-opted it for their own self serve Poor old Stan. Think you're making progress, and then you hit a wall. Knock it down. You're starting to sound like Barry. Never mind. It's a good play. Hey, hold up. This way. Where are you going? Going to get away this time. Buzz off. Let's do this. No getting through that gate. Let's take the stairs. We should be reaching that secret passage real soon. I knew Plan E wouldn't fail us. Should've called it Plan X. What'd you think, Mr. X Soldier? Biggs made the plan, right? I provided some input. Hope not too much. What's that supposed to mean? Thought this place was abandoned. This it? Huh? Hmm? 
Get back! This won't do. Sir, analytics reports that the feed went down after an anomaly was registered during the test. An anomaly? Or an excuse for your failure to properly prepare the armor? No, sir. All modules were confirmed fully operational. It's far more likely, given the circumstances, that the sensors were overloaded Is that so? All the sensors in Section E are... inoperable. The President. Yes. Yes. Everything is fine, sir. Better, even. There's been a development. Yes. Understood, sir. We know exactly where they were headed. If the armor is intact, then you'd best determine the nature of this anomaly soon. <laughs> hmm. Should you fail to do so, you will deal with our intruders, personally. Uh... Yes, sir. Don't worry. I treat my people more than fairly. <laughs> so don't disappoint me. Passages beyond these shipping containers. Let's slip through them. Talk about a tight squeeze. You okay? Yeah. So, you bump into any giant robots like that in Reactor One? Yeah, except a bastard looked like a scorpion. Speaking of which. What would you say that last one looked like? Huh? Uh, well... Hmm. Looks dead now. Lo and behold. All aboard.
Just so you know, it's not gonna get any easier. <laughs> when did it ever? straight on to Reactor 5. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> Only because it is. That there's the Reactor Support Pillar. So what's the plan? After plan E comes F, G, and then H. Thought E was the last. <laughs> this here is Section F. We cut through Section G and head for H. A cargo platform in H will get us closer to the reactor. Biggs should be somewhere over there. Looks like the sun's going down on Midgar. Right. Double time. We got a date with the reactor. Hmm. <laughs> Shut up and move. Just don't look down, okay? Easy for you to say. Section G's through here, huh? This ought to open it. No good? Needs power, I think. That looks more like what we need. Control room. Let's check it out. Maybe no one uses that entrance. I'm getting the feeling no one's come down here for a long time. No plate inspectors, huh? power for the gate and other stuff. Sun lamps. You think these are the plate suns? The closest thing we have to the real thing. Gotta put out a sun just to open a gate, huh? But if we go through with it, the grounders in Sector 4 will suffer. Now or later, sun's going out for good when we blow the reactor. That's true. Let's go. All these lamps. You'd think they'd be able to balance the load by now. Maybe. If the maintenance guys or whoever weren't playing hooky. The lamps are important, but when you think how much Mako it must take to keep them running, that's gotta be one. Man, look at the size of it. That a console I see near the top of that ladder? They, uh, pretty tall ladder, too. I'll go. Okay, we'll wait down here. Power supply confirmed. Disengaging locking mechanisms. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Great job, Cloud. <laughs> Next stop, Section G. Yep, and after that, Reactor 5. I'm sure those things will welcome us just as warmly as before. So, tell you what, the rot runs deep in this damn pizza. They busted? Powered down, is my guess. Lucky us, am I right? 
One less thing for us to worry about. <laughs> Filling the air that we gotta breathe with their shit. Monsters sure seem to like it. What's up with that? It's like in the tunnels. They get twisted by the Mako, but it all goes back to shit. You know the best way to not get lost is to believe that you're not. Mine Isn't that from one of Marlene's books? Yep, one of her favorites. Loves it when I read it to her before bedtime. Doing all the voices. Life in the Endless Maze. Am I right? <laughs> I remember. We're still in G, right? Yeah, and to reach Mako Reactor 5, we need to go through Section H. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't spot a connecting catwalk to Section H, did you? Well, we could always do another lap. Go for Ted, why don't you? The only other route that I can think of would be... Along the wall. Up for giving it a try? It might not work out, but it's the only idea I've got. <laughs> it's not a bad one. So we're shooting for those giant fans way over there? Okay. At least we've got a clear landmark to guide us. Those ventilation fans? Keeping the plates air clean by pushing the smog into the slums. The whole system's designed to make shit roll downhill fast. <laughs> Keep moving. Okay, then. Follow me. No worse than a windy day, huh? One with a tornado warning, maybe? Don't look at the fan. Whatever you do. Right. Steady, guys. And that's our objective? The cargo platform? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. This is it. The cargo platform Biggs was talking about. Let's not keep him waiting. Power. You're kidding me. Needs three lights worth, looks like. But that's... That's all of them, isn't it? All or nothing. Let's regroup here if we get lost. Remember the H1 sign. Right. Let's see now. Closest light ought to be... That one. By the light of these magnificent lamps, we shall lead our brothers and sisters of the Undercity to a brighter future. Yes. Say what? It's from a speech President Shinra gave, talking up the importance of the sun lamps. To brighter future, my ass. Shinra's leading us down a one-way path to darkness and death. Error. Insufficient power. Gotta power down a sun lamp first. Look, there's the switch. Let's flip it and go. Rerouting power. Please wait. That's one down. 
Only two more lights to go. Reinitializing intrusion prevention system. Intrusion prevention? Back online because of us. <laughs> no need to fret, y'all. A few rusty mechs ain't gonna keep us from reaching the reactor. You think they'll miss those three plate sons? I say the real sun's the only one we need. To hell with Shinra and their nightlights. Intruders detected. Engaging countermeasures. There! Let's do this. If only. Nothing's gonna stop! <laughs> you would say that. Back to the H1 sign. I hope that Jesse's injury isn't anything serious. The best thing you can do to speed her recovery is to kick Shinra ass in her stead. I know, I know. And Cloud's got a cover for Wedge, too. When do we link up with Gates? Soon enough, don't you worry. He knew we might be late, so he came up with a few ways to kill time. We ought to reach him long before he dies aboard. And we're back at the cargo platform. Get ready, Marco Reactor 5. We're coming. Auxiliary power supply confirmed. Reactivating cargo platform. Cargo platform activated. Awaiting input. <laughs> so long, underplate. I hate you too. Where could they be going? Embarking on an adventure to find some treasure? System service mode active. Access maintenance terminal to complete procedure. We stop it? Switching ventilation system to maintenance mode. Please complete the maintenance access procedure within the designated time limit. Man, what are we even doing? I wonder what the reactor's like. No. Dismal. A slaughterhouse where they put to the plant. Then there's the smell. The Mako. Be ready for it. Right. Hear that, guys? It's the reactor calling us. Back in the sand. Bring it on, Avalanche. Intruders detected. Engaging countermeasures. Let's finish this. Keep it together. Even after all that fighting, no one's coming for us? No need. This is Shinra City. We probably have cameras everywhere. Why didn't you say something sooner? Way too late to bail now. It's like walking a tightrope. When you're on it, only two ways off. Better keep my balance. 
You'd be good at it. <laughs> I wonder. Tifa? It's nothing. Just thinking about the next step. Some things you never get used to. Yeah. <laughs> Mercy! Wait, Cloud. <sighs> Where's Jesse and Wedge? Report. The top side's going nuts after some terrorists jumped off a train. Nice and quiet here, though. So quiet, I had no trouble securing your route into the reactor. You magnificent son of a bitch! Bring it in! So, where are Come the others? On, man. Jesse got hurt and couldn't make it. Bad? Not so bad she couldn't rope in this guy. <sighs> Thanks for stepping up. It's a job. Worked out pretty good. You picking that train you did. While Shinra scours Sector 4, you can waltz right on into Sector 5. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it ought to get you where you need to go. Little dark and foreboding for my taste. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, and you'll be needing your grappling guns, of course. All set? Ready to take on the world and then some. Make sure everyone gets clear, okay? Will do. Keep these grappling guns close. <sighs> Secure them to your belt or whatever so you don't lose them. When we're done, we'll be using these babies to get down safe. All of us. Got it. Excuse me, sir, your tie? Quickly now, quickly! storage. Let's move. Here, maybe? Well, now. That could work. I'm next. six ways from Sunday. Mechanized units like these were designed to take out giant monsters. Probably a new prototype. If they do decide to deploy it, then our best bet would be to run like hell. Oof. Then let's hope he sleeps through the explosion. Where is everybody? You mean Shinra? <laughs> Got spooked and cleared out. <laughs> Buzz off. Hey, 
soldier boy. Tifa. What? How much time we need? Got all the time in the world. This one comes with a remote detonator. Courtesy of Jesse. We withdraw to a safe distance. Then, kaboom! Safe distance? What? No such thing. <laughs> we get out the same way we got in. Let's double back. Huh? What, what the? Where are you going? Weirdly perfect timing. Wait a minute. Is someone watching us? Reactor 5. Shinra has confirmed the reactor to be the target of the bomb threat issued by the terrorist group Avalanche. <laughs> Members of the group were observed entering the facility, and security is currently sweeping it for explosive devices. We now go live to the scene. I'm here in the Sector 5 Undercity. Having confirmed the terrorist target, you guys the Shinra Emergency Operations Center has issued an evacuation advisory. Residents are outraged that the tragedy of Mako Reactor 1 was only the no first attack in a campaign no of violence. President Shinra has issued a statement providing assurances that the terrorists will soon be brought to justice. And so, to a people beset by chaos and uncertainty, we will offer the finest comfort, bread and service. The big boy. I give you Shinra's latest triumph of technology! The Air Buster, your executioner! Uh. Huh? <laughs> Engineering on the line. The Air Airbuster is only 60% operational. The estimates were optimistic. I'm on air! <laughs> to the imbecile in charge down there! You are hereby ordered to seize those intruders and bring them to me. But quietly or there'll be trouble! Shh. Such an idol of security forces. I repeat. No I don't believe it. We played right into Shinra's hands. Yeah, and that bullshit the news is already putting that false narrative. Right now. <sighs> so we're screwed. No, 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 hell no! Attention, all security Listen, forces. they want to turn this into a spectacle? The then I say let's get them, them to the command center Let's take down Shinra's big ass neck in front of everybody. Okay. I'm sold. And bring them to the command center. Bring them to the command center right now. You heard the man. Get these components prepped for the airbuster ASAP. It's ready, sir. Component outbound for V8. Copy, V8. Let's see what 
these bastards were up to. It looks like a few of its components are still in transit. <laughs> we'll see about that. Could tamper a little with its loadout. And give ourselves an edge? There should be a console somewhere. This the console you're talking about? M units, huh? I'm guessing that's some sort of component? Yep. An enhancement powered by liquefied materia. Sounds bad. Pretty sure I can divert this unit for disposal. M unit flagged for disposal. Heidegger's got no idea who he's messing with. So far, so good. Right. Let's move! You think they're watching us? Even now? Yep. Probably got a live feed. Nothing we can do about it. Except smile for the folks at home. Component outbound from B7. Copy. We've lost contact with B8. Send some men to check it out. We've got a schedule to keep. Huh. Intruders! Seize them! Don't overdo it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> hey, no Stay at B7. You're about to put your priority. You're on your own. Looks like there's two consoles this time. Huh. Double the sabotage. If we can find the key cards. What does an AI programming core do? Increases processing power dedicated to motor function computation. Makes it move real quick. A real quick giant robot, huh? That doesn't sound good. Anyway, we should weigh our options carefully. Programming core flag for disposal. I was thinking the same thing. So where did we send the discarded stuff? To a storeroom for defective equipment, I'm guessing. That's so. You think these defective shells and programming cores might be valuable enough to warrant a little detour? Maybe. I say we grab them. Hmm. If we get that far. Everything Shinra has told you is a goddamn lie. Marco is the lifeblood of our planet. Those greedy bastards are bleeding it dry. Y'all gotta rise up. Barrett, who are you talking to? The people. Put me on TV, I'm gonna drop some truth. Thousand Gil says they cut the sound. An AI program. Programming core flat for disposal. That should slow them down some. Think we've done enough to weaken the robot? All that we can, at least. It's all good. The stage is set. All this left is to hijack Heidegger's show. We're coming up on the exit. Tifa, detonator still in range? 
We should be good. The moment Big Boy goes down, you hit that switch. Right. Status report! We're short on AI groups, but tracking down replacements. Work faster, or you'll hear it from the brass! <clears throat> Look! They're still prepping it! They're here! Hold them back! Buy us every second you can! Why did they take you to the fire the report? Yes, it's not. Don't say I didn't warn you! Let's do this. See ya. It's not ready yet. That was an order. Here we go. See ya. Enough. Prepare the air buster for immediate deployment. Shit. Shit. This is too late. Y'all never had a chance. Hey guys. Looks like a performance assessment. Don't you think? Reduced response time. Should work in our favor. For real though, we need to talk victory poses. Something coordinated for the live on camera finish. Could blow up big. Start a new trend. Vito. Huh? No way up. Get it open? Yeah, from that room over there. Why does everything have to be so damn complicated? You know, the faulty equipment storeroom's that way, too. Do you think we'll find the components we diverted there? It's like a treasure vault. Woo! I like the sound of that. So, how do we do this? It's simple, really. We move the levers at the same time. Got these ones. I'll take left. Which just leaves right, soldier boy. The emergency lockdown is currently in effect. So we need to synchronize our movements? In that case, follow my lead. Nah, Tifa's. Fine, have it your way. Okay, pay attention you two. Three, two, one, Emergency lockdown disengaged. Hell yeah! <laughs> we really did it! Great timing. Right on the money. Yeah. What y'all got tucked away in that vault, huh? The 
alienated Mako, which would make you a soldier. X soldier. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Though not, alas, for very long. Accelerated cellular degradation being the most common cause of death by far. This is classified, of course, but every soldier knows the truth. That's right. Thank you for getting someone? <laughs> what did I tell you? You strike me as the type to go on without air. Ain't enough hours in the day to hold it to account for all your crimes. And what a wasteful indulgence it would be, even if there were. Oh, okay then. Let's talk about wasteful indulgences. What is Marco? The life stream. The lifeblood of the planet. Our planet. But Shinra keeps on slurping it up like a thirsty dog. What do you think's gonna happen if you don't stop, huh? Hmm. We do indeed keep on slurping it up, as you say. But... For whose benefit, I wonder. The true nature of Marco is known to one and all, yet the people willfully turn a blind eye to the cost. As you must surely be aware. Don't you dare try to put this on us! If anyone's going along with your plans, it's cause you brainwashed them! Such methods are beneath me. As are you, my faithful Silverax. Henceforth, allies of wicked Wutai, our sworn enemy. Thank you for stoking our people's patriotic fervor. Wutai! The hell we are! <laughs> you still don't understand your role in this! What do they do? Don't you see? You fools were never in control! Never anything but pawns in our plans to sell great and glorious war to the people. And your instruments of insurrection will detonate. Uh. When we so choose. God damn it! Now let us raise the curtain on our main event. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
wrong about you. This ain't the end of the line for you or me. Cloud! Come on! Something. Anything. Why not? Good. Easy does it. Slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I... You're everything. Oh. Hello in there. Oh, Cloud. There's still so much to be done. Maybe you're not okay. <sighs> ah, he lives. Finally awake, are we? You're... Aerith. It's Aerith. And you are? Cloud. Nice to meet you again. Again, huh? What? You don't remember? What about the flowers? Oh, the flower girl. And this is... An old church in the Sector 5 slums. You came crashing through the roof without so much as a lookout below. <laughs> Fell right into my flower bed. Lucky for you. Like, really. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to... Don't worry about it. They're a lot tougher than they look. This place, it has a kind of power. Before I forget, you dropped this when you landed. Thanks. I've got one, too. You, and everybody and their mother. Not like mine, no. It's special. Mine's not good for anything at all. Bet you just don't know how to use it. Could be. Though... I really don't mind. Just having it is enough. It was a gift from my mother. Pretty crazy, huh? Us meeting again like this. You should stay a while. <gasps> really? You will? In that case... Huh? Huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. <clears throat> And who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? A soldier? Ex-soldier. 
Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes, at least. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from Merc stuff, right? Uh, uh I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? Fine, but it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. <laughs> if you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. <laughs> Hey, watch the flowers! You heard the lady. I'll make this quick. You better. Bodyguard, huh? You know I'm just a fight. Really? All right. Classified up. Here we yes. go. It's I don't think that's good. Hey! Little help? <laughs> good old what's his face. I'm doing a cleanup, but I'm damn good at it! <laughs> <laughs> Dance of ours could use a spark. first. Scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. What now? 
Run! Move and I'll shoot! Oh no, you won't. But sir! Could drop that. Okay. What's the hold up? I can't get to her! Let's move. Cloud, give me a hand. They're in the attic. Should we pursue? Got it. We are out. <clears throat> Beginner's luck. More of those things. It's like they're guiding us. Stay close. So cool. <laughs> there. Need to stay ahead of them. Prep for exfil. Or not. <gasps> They gone? Yeah, think so. What are they? I think, actually, I don't know. Let's just go. Okay, up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. So, what's next for you? A little bit of bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, it's back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do. That suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Forget it. Hmm? You mad? I actually haven't traveled by rooftop before. Be surprised if you had. It's honestly kind of exciting. Well, first time and all. Wait! Give me a moment. <sighs> Don't just run off on your own. <laughs> Those are the words of a soldier candidate? So petty. So, does no one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Looks kinda rusty. I'll go first. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Unexpected? Thank you, Cloud. <sighs> ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. 
Too dangerous? Too much. A whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. This time I'll go first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? See for yourself. Hmm, maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just... Uh, maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate, you're... Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Gotcha. You're killing me here. <laughs> here goes nothing. Woo! Uh. You good? Of course. My hero. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. Hmm. Huh. There's a face that screams, so what? Eh, I thought scarier things in my sleep. <laughs> 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 Someone looks like they're in their element. So, Cloud, you don't know the slums that well, do you? Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. Uh. Stations there. I can see that. Oh? Thought the world you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. This is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Check it out, Come Mom. on. There's no need to shout. I'll do the place. Yeah. Well, it's got a good view of the reactor. It's on fire! In a show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Oh, you oh. Cloud, wait! Wait. Deck is all clear! Rope's good! Go! Pull him up! Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. 
better than Shinra. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around. But a great place to lay low. Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Nah. Me? I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. Guess we're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Should be able to relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Uh, Keep an eye out. Of news here, but means another the sector five slums are right there. God, I'm so what are they watching? Uh, hey. Hey, hey! Who said it, guys? My life's a bit on the. I made a first roll. You heard what they said on the. Mm -hmm. what they I'm standing inside the gutted accomplish. shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of oh, smoke rising using from the rubble. Spies, so they don't have to break While the fallen ceasefire. beams and other debris continue to hinder Those rescue efforts, the fires to appear to have another been war. mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, we oh, get a reward or something? Uh, that's the director of Shinra's advanced weaponry hey, division, isn't it? Enough of that doom uh, and excuse blue. me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. No Can you give us any updates on the status slums. of the reactor? So what kind of damage did it suffer in the again? explosion? Are we in any danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! All right, let's go. We need to start preparing for the worst. Uh, Aaron! So, what are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Here's the leaf house. There you are! We're back! And we brought Aerith with us! Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. 
What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. Please hold me. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm. What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> Come on. I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. So. This is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <laughs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? Found him! <sighs> you take this one. Huh? Um. Take it. Uh. Babies. Hmm. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. That's the one I gave you. Huh. It is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? We're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? No 
need to hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? <sighs> Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. Come on. I know this place is off limits to grown-ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Oats! You're back! Aerith's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there! Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. You guys have got to hurry and find our stones, okay? They ran off this way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope we find them in time. I'm here for you guys! <laughs> You'll see. That's that. Ah, there they are! And they're not alone. Soldier. He was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have. Here we go. 
Not bad. I'm gonna grow up to be a soldier like you. You can't just grow up to be a soldier. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that. <gasps> yeah. yeah. It was really cool when you went like. Yeah. Yeah. You've got it all wrong. Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Fine. Then how about. Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Tifa, wait! Tifa! Tifa! Tifa. Tifa? <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. You can't catch me! Uh, <laughs> don't worry, it'll be okay. <laughs> Wait! Not him. It looks pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number. But why two? Who knows? Come to think. The reunion. There's nothing to fear. Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Then you must be from the legendary. The legendary. Uh... Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough! 
Stay back. Missile! Keep him away! Get Go ready. on! <laughs> Can't you leave us alone? <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, then. So, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. Now, Just stop it! Can't. It's my job. Then think about changing career. Go on! I see you! Right. Cloud's pretty strong, isn't he? I've seen this type of thing. You don't know me. Go on! How's that payback working out for you? Let's do this. Don't let him go. Go on. I thought you didn't want to get rough. No, but this is self-defense. Here we go. I got your number. Here goes. Get ready. That'll do. That's it. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <clears throat> hey there, partner. Huh? I'm but, sure you're having the time of your huh? life, but we're needed on standby uh, for a job at something uh, about Sector 7. But, so get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Talking to the. Shh. So, yeah, it was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. <sighs> Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them.
Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Oh. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong? 
It's nothing. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Oh, no. Look. Why 
is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes! <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Campament uh, composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you no when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense. Uh, no, shitful brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, 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 I think we've heard enough. That's it! That's that. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Huh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. <clears throat> that went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> uh. Wait a minute, did you just... Nope. Don't worry, we'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Cloud, up top! The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly.
importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Okay. Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. Okay, getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <sighs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. This is it then. Ready? Yeah. lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! No, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. 
and worse. Uh-uh. You don't know Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are, he'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on, aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... Um... She's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, 
then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Mm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Tell me, what's it supposed to go down like this? Is this the place? Uh, I think just so. just wanted to see Andrea. Let me handle this. My weak will. You wait out here, but okay? It was like... Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honeybee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honeybee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am heads. Huh? Hmm. Hmm.
Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. two of you step right up now then what manner of massage do you desire say what is this your first time in our establishment mm -hmm. we are a hand massage parlor an excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain it is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional so now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well? Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud, let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back, and wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. No, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs>
If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Carneo a candidate for in such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? No matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Hey, lovebirds, over here! In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure, where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. All money. For you is Dean Patatou of the chaos and bloodshed. We bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? For tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart and or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum. Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponent. 
Utterly and utterly. Viciously. Without mercy. Until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters. The savages still standing here at the end. Shall claim the skill and the glory. And now the long-awaited adventure with the blood star beast will battle for your amusement. In the corner. Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. And tonight, Corneo Tower! This place is really something. You two, wait here until it's time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! 
I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match 
to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the fly! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! Executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, Cuddy and Sweepy! Come on now! Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! Condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got! Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. 
but nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! Buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Just a house. It's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar. Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not. No, sir, you have not. They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come. Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen. The cup's fight! I know battle begins now! Oh, the battle is yours! And already I can tell you this bonus man will not get the point! This devil has fought the toughest of the tough, the meanest of the mean! But can they handle the horror of the hellhound? Who will come out on the ground? Wait. Uh, it's almost disappointing. No. Not yet. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen! What is happening? What the? Look out! What's this? That'll do! As usual, the Hell House is up to no good! It's your turn! Talk about making an impact! The Hell House is absolutely damaging! So this is Cloud and Aaron's chance to take off! in some What will you do? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. 
Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector Fray. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm going to put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. You look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek and I'll poke out your eyes. No! Cloud! Finally! Tifa! She... I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway? You don't know what I'm talking about. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Beep, beep, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Again. Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. 
If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. This is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite a pretty little lady. Talk about being popular. Shaped like everybody's favorite Not bad at all. What? Say that again. Don't be like that. You're still the most beautiful girl in the world. And I'm lucky to be with you. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I give her a B. That dress was completely overshadowed. I want like the beautiful flowers. This is it. Your destination. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? And that is the essence of Andrea Rodea's show. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. Come on, come on! The show's about to start! Oh. 
My, my. Is that Cloud? Hmm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. <laughs> Sweet here at the honey bee in every moment is a tree. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval. Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead?
honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me! I could dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help How it. About it was you a amazing. Drink? You can talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? Please don't. Now that is one hot dress. Not a word. But one must be Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! She's the prettiest girl I've ever seen! She's the prettiest girl I've ever seen! Whoa! She's the most Whoa! She is the most beautiful girl in the world! And have just one! More you know! Whoa! That is one hot chick! No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Hey, hands to yourself! That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Go to your room and wait. Quietly. Room's at the end. Keep walking. so dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how you pretty ladies doing? Feeling a little lazy. 
Let's say we escort you to the parlor so you can make yourself more popular. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now. Lopsy daisy. Hey, head to the pit, asshole. Hey, how? You want to throw down the corneo skirt? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, though. <laughs> Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on ladies, let's hustle. All right guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dog. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Today's bride-to-be is... 
Today's? And tomorrow's. Or the day after's. If the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts. With you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? to do that one of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners sorry but your boys had to learn some manners too what the cloud your clothes <laughs> oh. 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 
So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the director of public security! Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. When they've lost their minds. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Your parting gift is in sewers. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Tifa? Oh, uh... Cloud... We have to...
to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure there isn't something else going on? Um. goes. Do you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? <laughs> I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Mm. Hmm? Uh, <sighs> Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. Ugh, it reeks down here. Well, the Undercity isn't exactly the prettiest place, and we're under that, so... Is it safe to go through here? It's really dark. I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, Cloud. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth, what do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an endgame. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroying a whole chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. Guys like him do it all the time out of habit.
That's a power generator, all right. Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique, older than the Mako reactors even. It'll be a miracle if it still works. up tight but not if we use the skeleton key Jesse made huh does this mean it's in the water we'll see wait a minute I know this place Sector 7 should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure. Stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. <sighs> okay, Aerith. Your turn. On my way. Here we go. least I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar, decorations, coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Okay. 
Sorry about that. No need to be. <sighs> Look, that must be the way out. I wonder. There must be some way we can lower the water level. Seventh Heaven's water tank has something similar. I'm betting we can use this to control the sewage level. Hey, Cloud. You want to give it a try? This ought to drain the water. Right? No luck? It must be busted. A red light indicates a blockage, apparently. We can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. All right. I'll... Aerith, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. We'll be back soon. <laughs> Could've gone better. All right, I think that did it. Wonderful. Okay, let's head back. Cloud's probably getting worried. Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team! Sure is nice to go up sometimes. Hope the tour is not much further. to public order are to be summarily put down. This is what we've always done. Summarily put down. <laughs> Guess it's a little late to grow a conscience.
Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. Hm. We could get lost in here. This is the Crane Graveyard, all right. A real treasure trove of scrap. Sector 7 should be just past that large maintenance facility over there. I vote we stay in the light so we can see where we're going. Dark, dark everywhere. That it? It's deserted and kind of creepy. People don't come around here often. And not just because of the monsters, but because of the stories. What kind? Everyone seems to think that the train graveyard is haunted. Those who lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. <gasps> is that right? I mean, it's not like I think it's true or anything. But you know, it's just... Then let's hurry. Why would there be kids out here this late? What? Then... Let's see what's inside. Well, what do you think? Bodyguard, don't forget. Mine. <sighs> right? Ghosts aren't my thing. <sighs> oh. You're just being modest. <sighs> After you. Mind letting me go then? for a bit. Dangerous. 
I know, but even so... What the...? Us. <sighs> Gonna need to find another way through. Stopping at the Sector 7 Slime and is bound for the same area. The same area. The same area. The same area. The same up there. It's not working. There's no power coming through. I wonder if this is another prank. Someone might be messing with the power supply to make us run around. On you. I'm coming. I'll take care of you. It's your turn. Oh, let's go. You're up. Taking over. No holding back. Fair. You were waiting for someone to come and play with you. Huh. What are you talking about? <sighs> come on, let's get back to the crane. Who 
lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. What do you guys think would have happened if they caught us? I wonder. Maybe they're the ones who were caught. Can we just drop the hole? What if they're trapped here and can't leave? Just like we hoped. What a relief. We should be able to get through now. Let's find out. <sighs> We're through. Great. Let's head outside. have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. So you have to stay far, far away from there. All right then, I will. Mm. Oh, you know Betty? Yesterday she went with her daddy to... to... Hmm? When is daddy coming back? Actually, he might not make it home tonight. <sighs> Marlene, what are you? <sighs> we can't waste any more time here. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's get going. This path is blocked too? But we're so close, I can see it. Uh, hey, do you think these trains might still run? Could give it a try. Good call. Looks like it still works. I knew it! Everybody good? Yeah.
Let's go. Almost there. Come on. Right. wind carries away have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. Let's go! 
Aerith? Come on! <clears throat> You got. Come on! <gasps> Trying to take out the pillar. I know. I have to go back. Barrett and the others are still. Stop. Stay with Wedge. I'm going up. Sir. I'm going to. I can still fight. Biggs, he. They were shooting at me and he. Wedge, please. Let Cloud handle it. Don't worry. I'll patch him up. Hang on, guys! Help is coming! Wedge, listen to me. You stay here with them. <sighs> About time you showed up, Mark. Bounce back. That's good to hear. Could have used some extra padding myself. Don't talk. It's pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me. Don't let it be for nothing. I won't. Slums. The kids. They're great. I used to visit. <coughs> that you'll have to do yourself. Let me guess. Not a fan of kids. No. But you have so much in common.
Testing. Testing. Attention, Avalanche Scum. We know all about your evil plans to destroy the pillar. But the Turks, uh, but Shinma, that's us, won't let you get away with it. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. That ought to do it, right? <laughs> Good enough. Wait, I know you. Mr. First Class. your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. This one. How is it? Much better, thanks. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. <clears throat> Aerith. There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? <sighs> Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. Come on! Seventh Heaven is this way. Wedge, wait! You guys can't stay here! Hey, let us Come go. on, come on! How else are we supposed to get to Wall Market? Sir, you need uh, to step away from the gate. Uh, you have to open the gate! If you don't let these people through! Back off! It's not uh, gonna happen! Uh, Wedge! I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. <sighs> That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? Uh... I wanna believe that we can still win somehow. <clears throat> but something in my gut tells me or do for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here. Right now. I need to know I did everything I could. Uh. <laughs> I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. 
Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all gonna die! <clears throat> Close it! No, sir! I will not obey that order! This way, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! You can't just fight! Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right! You can't miss it! Don't worry about me! Alright, I'll get these people to safety! Sector 7, please! We need to get as far away from Sector 7 as possible, right now! Go to Sector 5 or 6! Anywhere but... You all have to get out of Sector 7! Now! Please! Hmm? Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? Well, there's still time, but... Are they going to drop the plate on us? <sighs> yes. Those sons of bitches! What good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait! The watch should clear the roads first! Ah, good thinking. Hop to it. Avalanche, I take it? <sighs> Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Hmm. I've got to get to Seventh Heaven. What are you doing? <gasps> get That's out it. before you get yourself eh? killed. Oh God! Look out! Oh no! Probably for the best. 
after all. Hmm. Change of plans. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. You're Marlene, right? Who... who are you? I'm... a friend of Tifa's. <laughs> um, where is she? Right now, she's with Cloud and the others. Daddy too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there too. Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh, the thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? <laughs> Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? <laughs> I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? flower. <sighs> I hope you remember it. Come on. Tell you what, we'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I can help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your favorite flower? <laughs> um... <sighs> Let us on a merry chase, Aerith. Sung. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Mm. <sighs> How about we make a deal?
to one shitload of bulls. Unlucky day, cuz I never miss. What? What? Seems we've lost control of the top floor. Huh? Our guys are seriously struggling to take down these assholes? Anyway, we may need to intervene personally. Whatever you say, partner. Keep them busy, will ya? Just try to hang on. Pizza. <laughs> That's right. I do. But I don't think Oh no. Tifa's crying. 
Did I say something wrong? Don't you guys have somewhere to be? That's not polite. Personal, bitch.
lift your wings, huh? I was planning to join you anyway. <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from. <laughs> Come on, let's teach him the first two steps. What happened to you? The trick is this. Come on. If you're gonna pick a fight with the Turks, you here we go. You're gonna leave in a fight. Get ready. Get it angry. Bring it. How do we stop it?
It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. 
They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. Nothing. Let's go. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much just... You guys run into Jesse at the pillar? Yeah. Biggs, too. They were both Let in me pretty bad shape. But Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. Still ringing from it. This is Sector 5, right? So where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? <laughs> Is she here? Barrett! <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, 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 Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her, too. Come on. Let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. 
She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no, this one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, 
Even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything, but... Over there. Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. Finally, I can use some fresh air. Damn it! I still can't believe this happened. A little more. Come on. Come on. It won't budge. Make room. Mara, you're alive. With me. Ready? Great job, guys. Thank you. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. 
So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Hello! Anybody out there? If you can hear me, say something! Anybody out there? Can you hear me? Anyone there? Tifa. That's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. Ready? One, two, three! Hey! We're coming down! Stay right where you are! This place freaks of shit. What? Wait! Uh, wait. Uh, 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 No surprises there. Hey, 
you think Wedge is holding up okay? Of course he is. He's a lot tougher than people think. Probably sleep in settlement trees about his chance. if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Are you giving me orders? Hell yeah! So how'd you manage to track us down? Followed the trail of bullet holes. There's nobody else I know who leave that kind of mess.
the hell was that? We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. They... They were supposed to return to us. Stop now. They'll never let us live it down. <sighs> so, we carry that weight. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... Please, I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest?
can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night? That was from Aerith, wasn't it? I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home, and everything else. <laughs> they took everything from us, again. It's not true. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. <sighs> Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. <clears throat> Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. <laughs> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kinda... 
What? Nothing. You should help her. We will. You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. Tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan, then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. My fellow grounders! Listen up! Because boy, do I have some news for you! work anytime soon, so might as well drink. And it's a sh... So after bombing reactors 1 and 5, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on! Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu-Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gill apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu-Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit? <sighs> <sighs> No one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. No one's home. <laughs> Long time no see. What brings you back here? Well, we need to find a way to get topside as quickly as possible. And we figured Corneo ought to know one. That's so. In that case, I can help. You serious? Then tell us! Follow me.
Hmm. Let's just hear him out. So, what's the deal with the hole? Unfinished business. If you three give me a hand with it, I'll give you what you need to get topside. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? What's down there? Corneo's hidey hole. That's where I'm headed. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find another way to get topside. <sighs> All right. We're in. Say what? He betrays us. He dies. Fine by me. He means it. I'll tell you more after we've climbed down. When you're good to go, let me know. You guys ready? Okay. Follow me. Seriously, what's the deal with the hole? It's a trap for the Don's enemies. What? No one's ever gotten out alive. Well, until recently, that is. your end of the bargain, right? Long as you hold up yours, yeah. I don't trust you and I don't like you. So if you so much as breathe in a suspicious way, I'll turn that face of yours into a honeycomb. I'd save your bullets for the monsters if I were you. Some are a lot tougher than you'd think. Hate to say it, but I can barely take them on my own. You, on the other hand, shouldn't have any trouble, am I right? Let's get this over with. Head for the trunk line. It marks the border with Sector 7. You three lead the way. I'll follow a short distance behind. of Avalanche. Right. Jesse and Big stashed the skeleton key down here. I never got the chance to thank them for what they did. Tifa. Let's just keep moving, okay? Hate to interrupt, but the trunk line's just through that door. The one over there? Yeah, we heard you. Hey, wasn't this locked before? Your time to shine. Clear the path ahead, would you? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something? Why did you help us out before? You could have lost everything. Andrea, you told me to. That really it? And I couldn't bring myself to let it happen again. Huh? It doesn't matter. Let's go. This it? Yeah. So how are we supposed to get topside? through here. Then you're telling me we're not done? Sorry, guys. But it's not that simple. <laughs> no! Wait! We gotta catch him! Huh? He took the key to the door! Without it, we're screwed! Let's go. The area up ahead. It's that thing's dead. Keep your eyes peeled. You don't know when it's right you're gonna pop off. Or where. Buzz off. Right. I'm on it. Go 
days are numbered, rat boy. Give it back. That's... Give it back. That's not a key. Sorry. That's not your pendant either. Were they family? No. It was all just a dream, wasn't it? But one day? No. Time to wake up and forget. Six months ago. On that day, Corneo picked her as a bride, and on the next, she vanished without a trace. But before she did, she gave it back. Salt on the wound. Thing cost me a small fortune. Why did you want to come down here? Revenge. I know I need to let go, but I can't. I need closure, because without it, I'll never be able to move on. It's fine. As long as you get us topside, we're still in. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right. I know a shortcut. Follow me. That twisted piece of shit. I'm gonna enjoy beating him to a pulp. Corneo's mine, and mine alone. Huh? Please. Fine. Okay then. Y'all think we got everything? Question is, now what? It's not going to be easy selling this stuff. Oh, I know. What about Marl? We could ask her to help. I'm sure she'd be happy to. It's Leslie! Got some urgent info for the Don! <laughs> Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. Hmm. 
Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Oh, it's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Good, Abzu. Feel free to play with your food. Donna. Bastard! <laughs> First him, then Corneo. You okay? Where's Corneo? Sorry. Bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? She could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? <clears throat> we'll meet again. It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here, and then I'll give you what you need. Ah. Uh, hey, 
Taste that sweet Midgar smog. <laughs> this way. Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped-up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one-way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order. Just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right. Hope you find it. You too. What brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The angel of the slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. Ready to do this? Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. So, when this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you? Yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. Deep down... You're a pretty nice guy. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? some Shinra ass and save the planet. Goal two, save the girl while kicking Mo Shinra ass and get out. Copy. Gotta be careful. No telling what's gonna collapse or win. Are you hurt? guys might want to turn around. A friend of ours needs help. It's too dangerous. For you, maybe. Just try to be careful.
So that's where we have to climb? What if it comes apart while we're up there? Ah! We've made it through worse, you know. Yeah, no kidding. It's a miracle we haven't been killed a dozen times over by now. It's a dead end. Wonder if this rope belongs to search and rescue. I think we might be able to climb up here. Time for the grappling guns. Try to aim for that part of the rope that's hanging there. Don't screw up and fall. By the way, how well you do with this grappling gun will tell us a whole lot about you. <laughs> Just remember, we can't come back down. Are you ready? I think I see a rope hanging off the top there. Up, I'm gonna get bored. to stay on mission. <sighs> I know. Saving Aerith is our top priority. Use our grappling guns to get up there. Jump over all this shit. Not much choice. What the? It's them. Avalanche. Two, three. This is one, four. We have contact. I guess everybody and their mother knows we're here now. Goddamn traitors! Take them down. That's that. Let's finish this. There they are! Stop them! No. Don't you ever forget this view. Just thinking about busting in the Shinra HQ's got me fired up. Save some for later. No need, son. I've got more than enough to keep me going today. You'll help too, won't you? For a price. Huh. 
Such a thing is too much excitement. Yeah. And there's still more to come. Guess so. Hope everybody's warmed up. Welcome wagon. Gotta say, 
I can't help but wonder if this is a lost cause. Well, you know, some lost causes are worth fighting for. Let's just think this through. So, I got an idea. Frontal assault, guns please. Make for a good story. Why'd we bring you along again? <laughs> Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. Security is looking pretty tight. Huh. So they know what they're up against. Somehow I don't think it's all for us. It could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wu Tai. Can't be for Wu Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback, you know? I'm a ticket time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. That one there. That's a Shinra truck, isn't it? Come on. Huh? <sighs> How's it looking out there? Anything? Nah. All clear. Roger. Okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. <laughs> Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. that make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. This building's incredible. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to tear it down and burn the rubber. But not today. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't think we should try touching it. Shit, making life hard. Let's just keep heading up. 
So, how do we get upstairs? Either the elevator, or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. The reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <sighs> okay, guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? <sighs> Work. Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? Ha! Hot damn, girl! But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is, then. Mm -hmm. Right. You have got to be shitting me. Nope. We're a lot less likely to get caught this way. But a lot more likely to die of boredom. It's only 59 floors. Nothing to it. Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. Wonder what it's like up there. More security and restrictions. It's not gonna get any easier. We're gonna be exhausted by the time we finally get to the top. As long as you pace yourself, you'll be fine. Maybe we should take a quick break. Come on, Barrett. You can stop if you want. You can even say it's for me. Just say you can't hack it. I'll hack you, jackass! Ugh, that's enough from both of you. Stupid arguments aren't gonna get us there faster. But Tifa, I wasn't... Not now. Save it for the top. <sighs> Guess these labs and shit are all the way at the very top. Yep, the very top. That's good to know. Cloud, keep an eye on Barrett. Copy. What was that? I don't think I heard you. Speak up. I'll keep an eye on Barrett. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. <sighs> Whatever. Hey guys, where are you? Hey, just a few floors behind you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're sounding better. Yeah, think I've got like. A stair climb is high. Glad to hear it. You tired? I was. But I'm feeling okay. What are we waiting for? Let's roll! You really are doing better. 
We we gotta keep moving. <laughs> to keep moving. Woo! <laughs> Tell me, these stairs, are these stairs ever gonna end? I don't know. Ask the stairs. I don't think the stairs are talking. Well, duh. Um. I was joking. That's the hell from both of you. First round ever. Give me a suicidal last day. At least, at least, at least that happened. Let's shut up. Yes, yes. Why? Trouble might bring it. Yep. And you're in no state to fight anyway. So, what should I do? Shut up and move. Another day, another struggle. I'm in stairs, so much trouble. Seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred percent, one hundred ten. Mako supersaturation confirmed. <laughs> Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. <laughs> Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. Uh, contaminants registered. We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models. Registering crystallization within the reserve tank. The reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Damn. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. Hey, check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. You 
you must be here for our grand tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the keycard in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why is this whole thing gotta be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! <laughs> if it is, then bring it on! Let's get this party started! Man, why we gotta get all these damn key cards just to get anywhere? This is Shinra HQ. The hell did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company, and of course the city of Midgar and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! I think I just threw up a little. Man thinks very highly of himself. Mementos? That was super cool! Impressive, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed learning about our divisions and the wonderful ideas and solutions that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock. exhibit will teach you all about the miracle of Mako Energy and our reactors, as well as the city of Midgar itself. So come on! This is Midgar, our home, recreated in one ten-thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it, 
and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako Energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies! Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into that bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar! Now, moving along, next you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. Please proceed to the 61st floor, the Visual Entertainment Hall. Welcome to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. Through an immersive visual and audio experience, please relax and enjoy the show. This place is empty. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had, the ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. Two thousand years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. <laughs> but before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed <laughs> to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. <laughs> Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green inverted land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized.
idea. Oh dear. A man of my refined tastes running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> Possibly have been crazy ass thing made me want to puke, and not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor. What was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. Yeah, yeah, I know. We came here to save Eric. That's our first priority. That's right. We only get one chance. Hojo should be at that board meeting, so that'll buy us some time. We need to plan this just right. Do you think that's where Professor Hojo is? Where he should be. What's the plan? Little bit of recon. Need to find a way to infiltrate that room. You hear the words coming out of your mouth. We just gotta find that bathroom so we can get into the air duct. Ask anyone here. They can point us in the right direction. No thanks. We can find it on our own. All right, I'll wait out here. Huh? You can't hang out here. Tifa, it'd be better if you waited inside. Maybe, but this is... Oh, never mind. You're right. Oh, thank God. No one's in here. Love to show them what the ones down below look like. Come on, let's just find that duct. Gotcha. On guard duty. Right. So, can I go with you? Don't want to be here any longer than I have to. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just follow behind. They're safe. But we live right by Sector 7, and I keep calling and calling, but I still can't get through. I heard that all the phone lines are down. It doesn't mean anything. You sure? Pretty sure. Depending on the board's decision, we may start two projects simultaneously. Rebuilding the plate and the city. Members of the Urban Planning Division will likely take point on both. Director Tuesti has ordered teams to come up with three, five, and ten-year plans. Each team needs to come up with a detailed proposal and schedule. We're going to have to put a lot of man-hours into this, so we'll need to start ASAP. Does anyone have any questions at all? If not, then we'll wait for the director to return. This it? I'm telling you, I saw him! With my own eyes, sauntering down the corridor! We don't have time for this nonsense! Ah, he was as close to me as you are now. The, the shock of it made me spill my tea! Enough already! If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. But, Mr. President, sir, I swear to you... Reeve. Sir, I have the damage assessment for Sector 7, and I'm afraid the figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, 
Well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction plan for... Huh? Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh, with respect, sir, Two I don't see words, how... Two words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> in their promised land, we will build a new Mako-powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the Promised Land even... <sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure-blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. So she can lead us to the Promised Land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. Personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is at your disposal, should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche than mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice. Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, we could have the Ancient reproduce. In the absence of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So, what say you all? <sighs> if there is nothing else, Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. Uh, please, sir! Something stinks. Anything? The man in the lab coat. Head of R&D. We follow him. Okay. And then we kill the son of a bitch. Not until he's led us to Aerith. That's the plan. Walking the halls of this very building, who would have believed it? I wonder... Hmm... Were I to arrange a face-to-face... -face? <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, uh, but that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long-term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <clears throat> or perhaps instead... <sighs> Don't move! Hmm? I ain't bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head. Unless you open that door right now. <sighs> you must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists?
If so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The president's upstairs. Go on, shoot. Shut up. Keep walking. None of y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll get used to it. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is! Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case... Yes. That might do the trick. Mind speaking up some? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. I promise. <laughs> you will regret this. by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but 
did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save Marlene! I'm afraid you misunderstand. But I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home to extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. Grenade arrow! Looks like your models got it wrong. Yes, an unknown variable, perhaps. Well, no matter. Reinforcements will soon arrive. But will they get here in time to save you from me? Why are you a soldier? Yeah. So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Oh. <laughs> Did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. 
I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? Thirteen? Red Thirteen. The designation given to me by Hojo. Then... you must have another name. What is it? He got away. So, we're gonna go get the son of a bitch. You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, nope. Let's try another tack then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes, understood. The VP needs us. still a child. <laughs> My mom and I stayed here years ago when I was just a little girl. 
The room looks exactly the same. I'm the one who carried you here. Are you okay? Maybe you should rest a little longer. Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, Talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the Ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the Promised Land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. Shinra's after it, because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? <clears throat> Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barret, wait. You can't do that. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, great! These assholes again! Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet, from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes, for it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure, but I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help. All of you. And the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze, and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. <laughs> Follow them, the yellow flowers. Uh, 
It's okay. We'll find a way out together. <sighs> okay. Time no see. Wedge? You're here? You you shouldn't be up and moving. I'm feeling much better thanks to Elmira's cooking. Ah, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Listen, any moment now. <laughs> what was that? An explosion? Anomalous shimmer than temperature. HQ is running the show this time. They're raising hell to try and flush out the president. This complicates matters. Anomalous that explosion just now put the whole building on high alert. <laughs> so now we're trapped in here? No need to panic, little lady. See? You can still move freely within Hojo's laboratory. Find a way to the roof. An avalanche chopper will come to extract you. HQ's bailing us out? I doubt it. Not after all the shit we've pulled. I asked them really nicely. Like super duper nicely. Thanks, Wedge. Just get to the roof, okay? Uh, oh? Uh, oh. Uh. I didn't ask him to do any of that. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm glad he did. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna steal to him out for it later. Anyway, we gotta get to the roof, right? Then we can use the same elevator that Hojo did. That elevator, was it this way? Yes, his odor still lingers. Let's go. Right. Hell is this place? 
Hojo's treasure. Shinra's dark secret. What I wouldn't give to burn it all down. But we need to get to the roof. Genova. Mother. Together we will reclaim our world. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this. Cloud? is the hypothesis proven correct? I can only hope you will continue not to disappoint. Thanks. No holding back. Call it like. You okay? Yeah. Where are the others? Nowhere close. Let's go. What is it? If we flip that switch, we can get to the other side. I may be able to do that. You sure? Yes. Will this do the trick? Say so. Guess we're out. 
What's the plan? First, we find Tifa and Aerith. Then we head for the roof. Should be an elevator somewhere. Didn't expect any of this, but we just gotta roll with it. Come on, let's go. Hmm. The door seems to have locked. No going back. <laughs> All right. Now you're starting to impress me. for data. You said something about a ward, right? I'm pretty sure I saw a door to one upstairs somewhere. So, you want to check it out? You two will be on your own. Be careful. Thanks. We will. We'll be waiting right here. If anything happens, anything at all, you call me, all right? Roger that! Hey. You think Cloud's doing okay? He's been acting really weird lately. More than usual. True. But it's Cloud. I'm sure he'll be fine. But what about you, Tifa? How are you holding up? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I'm fine. I guess this has to be the third ward, right? I think so. But it looks like the door's locked. There has to be something we can do. Let's look around. Gotcha. Look! Now they can get across too! We should let Cloud know. Can you hear me? We found the door to that ward he was talking about, but it's locked and we can't get it open. All right. About those preparations Hojo mentioned before. I think we're supposed to do something with that. The central terminal. Interesting. We were fiddling with some sort of control panel. Do you see a way to get across now? All right. We'll make our way to the central terminal. Sit tight until you hear from us. The hell kind of research is this? 
The cataclysm that came from the stars, Genova. Hojo has devoted half of his life to her study. I don't give a shit about any of that. The experiments in this facility involve the enhancement of life forms and machines through the application of Genova biological data. Hojo's plan is to pit his subjects against us, thereby facilitating their growth. <laughs> so this asshole thinks he can treat us like his experiments. I know what fate awaits these creations. Let us put them out of their misery. We must first find a passage that leads to the center. Tough, but doable. <laughs> Specimen. Tifa, you there? We access the central terminal. The door should be unlocked now. Any one of Hojo's twisted creations can be in that ward. Be careful. We will. See you in a bit. Really, the exit? I hate that man, I really do. <laughs> hey, Cloud? Tifa? We used the control panel here a little while ago, so you should be able to get to the other side. Can you check? Roger that. We're getting pretty bored anyway. You two stay there. We'll call if anything comes up. Okay. Be careful. Commencing test. All personnel must evacuate area. Commencing test. Give it all. God. Mm. Always do.
was our chance to kill the bastard. Time for you to pay the piper! Commencing test. All personnel must evacuate area. Commencing test. Looks like Red might need our help up there. to improve, huh? <laughs> what do you know? That's the door to the fourth ward. If we want to get in, we'll need to go all the way back to the central terminal. But the door we used to get here is shut. So what now? The passages have to be connected somehow. Please. It's a PHS terminal. Call up Tifa. See if they can get to the central terminal. That's it! Ah! 
nice one. <sighs> Have Cloud and Barrett found anything? Actually, they just found the entrance to the fourth ward. But to unlock it, they have to access the central terminal, which they cannot do from their position. Maybe we can get to it instead. Yeah, let's try. Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. This was a good idea, right? Yep. Well, let's go give the others the news. Is that you? Yeah. We found an elevator on our side. Good. Glad to hear it. But we can't use it for some reason. Hojo did something, I know it. There's only one thing we can do. We need to head to the fourth ward, just like he wants. We unlocked it on our side. You should be able to get in. Thanks. Wait for us there. Right. Now we head back to that door. <laughs> we, uh, made Wedge wait a while to be rescued. Guess so. You know, he really likes you. Maybe. Friendly guy, but he has a hard time opening up to people. Well, that makes two of us. He's got your back, though. <laughs> makes two of us. Then you triumph. <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Yes, I believe I have just about all the data that I require. 
Then, we are ready to proceed to the next stage. <laughs> yes, we got it to work. Could this be a trap? Don't worry, the elevators are safe. All right, if you say so. Uh, uh. Huh? Are we there already? No, something tells me that we aren't. Call it a hunch. I hear something. We don't have all day, though. Know. I think it might be locked from this side. Should we open it up then? Time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. Well, okay then. Looks like the elevator is working. It appears Hojo's done having his fun. <laughs> To hear he enjoyed the show. We're back again. Yeah. Hey. What the hell's going on? We may find out soon. Let's go. So what's above this floor? The president's office, and then the roof. Wait! Once we get in that elevator, there's no turning back. We're ready. Right? Huh? The elevator back there can take us down to the central terminal again. Now's the time for any unfinished business. I'm ready to do this. Let's go. Anyone out there? Help me. Well, well, well. Pull me up. I'll give you all the money you want. I have killed plenty of it. <laughs> Thing is, I don't want your money. Please. Ah! 
just let me live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. Barrett! Stop it! You're gonna get on TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tao or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell him that. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn. You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra. Without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. The source of everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
Death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Uh. 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 Thanks. Everyone okay? Hey, get your man. He got away. Huh. About time we made our escape too. Take Aerith and get out of here. Hmm. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. Barrett. I'm asking you. Please. Oh, fine. Have it your way then. But you better be right behind us. You're a soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. <laughs> Ex-soldier. I quit. Secure the others. <laughs> hmm. Just the two of us. Well, maybe three. Let's get this over with. Don't say
My number? Not at all. You're making me sweat. Good thing I can't bear it. Now it's just the two of us. Let's make it a night to the It's on for real now? Yeah. You should be on it. Keep it up. Where were we? Here we go. Let's dance, asshole. I could end this, here and now. No, not quite. Tonight marks a new game. For Shinra! better than this if you're gonna play the hero <sighs> think they can manage on their own you've seen them both in action you know they can besides <gasps> what was that Everything's cool. Barret! Not again! You can't stop me! For Biggs, for Jesse, Tifa, and Barrett too. I'm sorry, Cloud. Just tell me that 
But I made a difference. One piece. Yeah, somehow. Hmm. <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me!
All we gotta do now is find the others. Have them surrounded, sir. Yes, I can see that. It was only a matter of time. Here we are. <laughs> so then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Avalanche! Local florist! Lab rat dog. <laughs> and where are the rest of you? Up your ass. <laughs> Charming. Though not what I would have chosen as my last words. Secure the ancient, but feel free to kill both the idiot and the dog. celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. Hell, you might even try smiling. <clears throat> mm, on second thought, maybe frowning suits you better. Hey, don't pout. <clears throat> Look.
What is all this? Something wrong, sir. Stand by, sir. Your orders. Bring them in. It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Yeah. I don't understand. What are they doing? Who knows? Wait! You don't think he got caught up in it, do you? If he did, I hope he's okay. <sighs> They're coming. Who? <laughs> this we don't need. Time to go. <laughs> Take the job! 
the fights are all yours, Cloud! Okay, asshole, let Don't! And you... You're wrong. Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but shadows. Everything about you is wrong.
all born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. The world won't end today. For you. You will. Destiny comes. Drag our asses all this way. This is the welcome we get. <sighs> boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your honor as a soldier! Come and get it! This is the point of no return. Destiny's Crossroads. And why did you stop me? I'm not really sure. What will we find on the other side? Freedom. Boundless. Terrifying freedom, like a great, never-ending sky. What you heard just now were the voices of the planet. Those born into this world, who lived and who died, who returned, are howling in pain. Because of him, Sephiroth? They... Their words... They don't reach him. All these moments and memories, precious and fleeting, they're like rain rolling off his back. And when they're gone, 
He won't cry or shout or anything. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet, that he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. There's no greater threat to the planet than him. Sephiroth has to be stopped. He has to be. And that's why... I'm asking you to help me. I know that together we can do this. But if we do... We'll be changing more than fate itself. If we succeed, if we win, we'll be changing ourselves. I guess... Maybe... That's why I hesitated. You said it yourself. He has to be stopped. And frankly, I've heard enough howling for a lifetime. We should go. So if we go through that thing, there's no coming back? Is it our destiny to defy destiny? It's an interesting question. Thank you, Cloud. Ready? Never tried to challenge destiny. This could well be her last line of defense. It won't be easy. Let's go. Destiny's eye. Whether you can see the scenes or you can't, doesn't change that she's always trying to have it her way. Daddy's coming home real soon, honey. I don't know about you, but looks normal to me. Over there! Thank <laughs> you. 
that bit. It's a whisper too, but... Looks a lot more like an arbiter of fate than the others. We can beat them. Just see. A glimpse of tomorrow if we fail here today. The 
future is always a blank page. Uh, them again! Least they can do is give us a little breather. I say we split up. Take them down at the same time. In that case, Ultra Big Boy is all mine. I'm waiting, Cloud. Huh? What the hell is this? This is...
Let's finish this. <laughs> Fate is not to be taken lightly, Cloud. Shut up! <laughs> That'll do.
lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day, but I will not end. Nor will I have you end. This is... The edge of creation. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Never. seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. Ha 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 ha! 
Thank you. Marlene? What now? Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him! We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. I'm in too! Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? 
An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. I miss it. This deal's 